saw someone at Grandview, so we're gonna check it out. Got a job for you. You remember the Grandview Hotel? That shithole we pulled you out of? Need you to head back there. Check it in. Jacob nabbed a whitetail by the name of Briggs, and he's using the same brain-melting nonsense he tried on you. All in the hopes that Briggs will give up the wolf stand. Corey. I don't think our boy can hold out as long as you did. And if he gives up our location, we're done. So we gotta move on this quick. Some folks here think the smart move would be just to off him. But if we start killing our own to save our asses, how's that make us any better than Jacob? Nah, I ain't going down that road. Hawkeye here. Here's what we're gonna do instead. Wheaties cooked up a little deprogramming package. Same thing we used on you. Need you to swap out the tape they got running in Briggs' room with the one I'm gonna give you. And then, well, then we'll see what happens. If everything goes smooth, our guy comes back to Earth. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Hey, welcome back. Damn. Glad we can actually put this stuff to use instead of letting it collect dust in some bunker. This is a big help. I can't believe you caught those guys. Thought for sure they'd get away. If we had a couple more people like you around here, Eden's Gate would have rolled over a long time ago. Thanks again, Deputy. So, here's the deal. I'm trying to get this pirate radio running. Something to inspire the troops. Get people on our side, you know? And before anyone tries talking shit, yeah, I prefer vinyl. But don't you call me a fucking hipster, though. Ain't gonna catch me wearing a man bun or drinking kombucha. Our radio signal's shot right now, but Tammy's on that. In the meantime, I figured I should start working on the playlist. Eli left a couple records for me, but I could always use more. So, if you happen to come across any albums, toss them my way. Once Tammy gets the signal clear, it's DJ Weedy 24-7. Hope you're ready. Cool. These babies are going on the air pronto. You come across any more, I'll add them to the playlist. Don't get to see the sun much. Spend most of my time in the den. Hey, Woody Kills, you're doing...
must be hungry. <laughs> Did you know it takes 10 days for civilization to collapse? Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just 10 days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne All-Americans. Hoorah! One night, there was a, an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food, no radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day, I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. And it wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was... It was my test. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough. Sacrifice the weak. Good. Train, hunt, kill, sacrifice! Okay. 
gonna get out of here, okay? Only you. Only you. Hey, what about me? What about me? You aren't strong enough. You have to get out of here before it starts again. Follow me. the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. One less place to train their fuck. This is Wade over at the... Now what's next on the list? Goddamn Peggy's and their goddamn bullshit. I'm just glad to see it out of the cult's hands, training those wolves to cause hell. And they've been shipping those crazy wolves all the way to the old lumber mill. To keep an eye on prisoners. Now we had a bear here named Cheeseburger. Bit of a local celebrity, actually. Had a soft spot for Chad's barbecue. But he got the diabetes, so we put him on a liquid salmon diet. Anywho, Colt tried to take him, so I set him free. Last I heard, he was causing all sorts of mayhem. Someone should go find him, make sure he's all right. Grab some salmon from the pond ahead of time, though. Then feed Cheeseburger that salmon, and he'll be eating out of the palm of your hand. 
keep hearing people whine about ammo shortages, and I'm like, bitch, get a bow. Make your own arrows from sticks and rocks. wasting your time. Not today, fuckwads. You want to show you that skill? Then don't use something a fucking toddler can use. Cheeseburger was spotted at Lanero Building Supplies. I should be at home filling my mattress with parts right now, not running around that night. Keep your eyes on the road. I'll do the rest. Shut up, Herc.
anything. Just get right up in there and give them the salmon. Cuddly little guy will eat it right out of your hand, don't you worry. Afraid of what we might find here that the Peggy's have left behind. <laughs> 